Namashivai students. Today we will discuss few exercises from your GK book. We will start with chapter number 1, My India. India or Bharat is a big and beautiful country. It is called a peninsular country as it is surrounded by Indian Ocean, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. It shares land borders with Pakistan, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan and Myanmar. With the creation of two union territories on October 31st, 2019, there are 28 states and 9 union territories in the country. Now we will discuss the question and answer from this chapter. First one, how many countries does India share land boundaries with? The answer is 7. You can write the answer either in spelling or in number. Number 2. How many states and union territories are there in India? The answer is 28 states and 9 union territories. Now the next question. Write the names of two newly formed union territories of India. One is Jambu and Kashmir and other is Ladakh. Now which is India's capital city? The answer is New Delhi. Next we will discuss the capitals of the following states. Maharashtra, Mumbai, Rajasthan, Jaipur, Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow, Karnataka, Bengalulu, West Bengal, Kolkata, Assam, Dispur. Now students, we will start with chapter number 2, safety first. It is very important to follow safety rules in our life because good safety habits avoid many accidents inside or outside the house. Students, you have to go through this chapter, I think so. But if you have not, please go through this chapter and learn all the safety habits that we have to follow on the road, in the playground, at school and at home. Now we will start doing the exercises. Exercise A. Look at the pictures and tick the actions that are correct and cross the wrong ones. The first two pictures are wrong. The third one is correct. The fourth one is also correct. The fifth one is wrong. Before you do these exercises, you have to read these safety rules. Next, we will do exercise B. Here also, the first picture is wrong, the second one is correct and the third picture is also wrong. Now come to page number 7, the continuation of this chapter, exercise C. Here the first picture is wrong and the second one is correct and in exercise D, the first one is wrong, the second one is the first one is right and the second one is wrong. Now students, we will move to the last exercise of this chapter. Exercise E. Here, the first one picture is correct where the passengers of the bus or the people are walking on the footpath whereas the second and the third picture is wrong and the last one is correct. Now we will discuss exercise 3, health and hygiene. It is rightly said that healthy mind rests in a healthy body. It is very important to keep our body healthy by keeping it clean, taking balanced diet, proper sleep and exercise regularly and also we have to drink plenty of water. If we follow these habits, 
we will keep our body healthy and now the situation in this present situation is very important to keep ourselves healthy now we will do the exercises there are three options given for each question we have to choose the correct answer and we have to take it first one regular exercise makes our muscles strong sound sleep is important for the health of our brain we must visit a dentist for regular checkup of our teeth we should sleep for at least 8 hours a day vitamin d is needed for the development of our bones now we will do true and false students you have to write either t for true and a for false number 1 a good posture should be maintained while we walk sit or stand the answer is true taking care of each and every part of our body is not important it is false number 3 we should breathe in fresh air the answer is true number 4 we should take balanced diet to keep our body healthy and energetic answer is true number 5 we have six sense organs the answer is false number 6 we should drink plenty of water to keep ourselves healthy the answer is true now students we will discuss chapter number 4 unusual means of transport in the world there are unique means of transportation to be found all over the world that add to the culture and experience of each location given below are a few unique modes of transportation used all over the world we will read the hints first and then write the names of those transport number 1 the monorail this monorail is the oldest electric elevated railway with hanging cars it was built using 19200 tons of steel What is the answer? Apteral scorpion. Number two, this yellow taxi is a shaped like hollow coconuts. They can be seen in Havana and in Varedo. The black taxi taxis are used by locals, while the yellow ones are used by tourists. The answer is coco taxi. The third one in Vietnam it is a popular ride for the tourist the tourist climb on the front of this tricycle taxi to get a little tour of the city it is called the silo number 4 Cambodia's unique mode of transport locally known as nori are made up of an electric generator and a makeshift bamboo platform for sitting they run along the railway tracks at speed of up to 40 km per hour the answer is bamboo train now the last one number 5 these trucks were designed by the american military during world war 2 to run over both land and water today these offer rides past famous london landmarks before launching into the river thames to get views from the water the answer is d u k w so students these are the name of the unusual means of transport which we find around the world now we will come to chapter number 5 leaders 
of the world. These are the pictures of the world's most powerful readers. We will see the pictures and write their names and the countries they belong to. The first one is Vladimir Putin. The answer is Russia. Next one is Angela Merkel. The country is Germany. Number three is Xi Jinping. The answer is China. Next is Donald Trump. The answer is United States of America. Narendra Modi, India. Theresa May, United Kingdom. And the last one is Pope Francis, Vatican City. Students, you have to learn the names of this leader for your oral exam. Now we will move to the next page that is chapter number 6 entering a new world. Students there are certain icons which represent an applications of different programs which we find in our computer or in our smartphone. We will learn the names of these icons. First one is Gmail, number 2 Facebook, number 3 Internet Explorer, number 4 Yahoo, number 5 Google Chrome, number 6 is WhatsApp, number 7 Twitter, number 8 is Instagram and number 9 is Google. Now students, you have to check all the answers of these exercises till Chapter number 6. Once you will finish checking all the exercises till this page, that is page number 11, you have to write this exercise. That means the exercise of chapter number 6 and of page number 11 in the GK portion of your EVS classwork copy. What you have to do? You have to write the chapter name that is entering a new world. And the page number, page number 11. And then you will start draw the pictures of these icons. And beside the picture, you will write their names. Like you will draw the picture of a Gmail. And beside the picture, you will write Gmail. Like this, you have to do all the nine diagrams. And then you have to write their names. I think... Students, it is clear to you all. You can draw this picture in the right hand side page of your copy. So students, start doing your work. In the next class when we will meet, we will discuss few more exercises from your GK book. Till then, Namah Shivaya.